So based on the results of alpha particle scattering experiments, Rutherford suggests the following picture of the atom. So the electron should follow on the nucleus. That's Rutherford model. Atom may be regarded as a sphere of diameter of about 10 power minus 10 meter. But whole of the positive charge, almost the entire mass of the atom is concentrated in a small central core called a nucleus with a diameter of about 10 power minus 14 meter. The electrons in the atom were considered to be distributed around the nucleus in the empty space of the atom. So the black color is your electron and you got your proton and your neutron. So where the mass of the electron is 1 by 2000 the mass of the proton and the mass of the proton is equal to the mass of the neutron. If the electrons were at rest they would be attracted and neutralized by the nucleus. To overcome this one automatically this electron will be revolving around the electron orbits. I am trying to show a typical example of helium atom which got two electrons in it. To overcome the existing drawbacks and also they didn't know none of the people are specialized or specified about electron revolving. So Father Rutherford suggested that the electrons are revolving around the nucleus in circular orbit so that the centripetal force is provided by the electrostatic force of attraction between the electron and the nucleus. As the atom is electrically neutral, the total positive charge of the nucleus is equal to the total negative charge of electrons in it. It got 8 protons and 8 neutrons. If we talk about the drawbacks of Rutherford atom model, the electron in the circle orbit experience a centripetal acceleration. According to electromagnetic theory, an accelerated electric charge must radiate energy in the form of electromagnetic waves. Further moving towards the drawback, if the accelerated electron lost energy by radiation, the energy of the electron continuously decreases and it must spiral down into the nucleus. Thus the atom cannot be stable but it is well known that most of the atoms are stable. So this is the major drawback of Rutherford atom model. Further moving towards the drawbacks of uh, Rutherford atom model, according to classical electromagnetic theory, the accelerating electrons must radiate energy at a frequency proportional to the angular velocity of the electron. Therefore, as the electron spiral towards the nucleus, the angular velocity tends to become infinity and hence the frequency of emitting energy will tend to infinity, which is impossible. That's the drawback of Rutherford atom model. So this will result in a continuous spectrum with all possible wavelength. But experiment reveal only line spectra of a fixed wavelength from atoms. That's why Rutherford atom model is not considered some of the major features related to the spectra.